All right, howdy everybody. We're here this morning and we're gonna demonstrate the Texas Method Inlay Bark Graft. And this is a procedure that we've taught many, many people how to do over the years. And it's a procedure that allows you to change a seedling pecan tree into an improved variety. And we know that this is a seedling pecan tree because of the color of the leaves. Y'all see the color of the leaves here? You see that purple tinge on the leaves right there? Only seedlings show that. And so if we did not know that this was not an improved variety, we could look at the leaf and that would dictate that this is a seedling tree. So to change this variety over, we need to a few simple tools. And the most important thing we need is we need to have dormant wood. We need to have graft wood that was cut in January. This wood was cut back in January. And we put it in a Ziploc bag. It's been in the crisper. And so this wood still thinks it's winter time. This wood is absolutely critical for the success of this operation. This wood has to be totally dormant when we put it on the tree. So we bring it to the orchard in a ice chest. Then we need a few simple tools. We need some kind of saw. You know, one of these folding saws works quite well. You need a Felco shear or some kind of shear that you can cut the wood. Most important factor probably though is a sharp knife. Uh, this is a grafting knife. It's only sharpened on one side, and so that's what we'll be using today. Then you need some kind of material to secure the graft to the tree. Today we'll be using grafting tape. It's a polyethylene tape that gives. And then we need some material to protect the graft from drying out. And so we use aluminum foil, which reflects light, keeps the temperature down, and we use a plastic bag plastic bag keeps the moisture in but it's a poly bag and it breathes and you know it breathes because it gives when you push your finger on it so you know it's going to breathe keeps the moisture in but allows the oxygen uh, exchange there when we do a seedling tree like this you're looking for a straight smooth spot to put the graft we like to have a nurse limb below where we put the major graft and the first thing we do is we cut the tree off at a straight spot. When you do this in a bottom, you need to think about livestock, deer. Deer will eat them off, so if you can put it up higher, that's good. A lot of people will back their pickup truck in and work out of the back of a truck, and that works good. Today, for demonstration purposes, we're gonna put it fairly low. And the first thing you do is saw the tree off. And you have to realize the bark has to slip for this technique to work. And so when it has leaves, we're pretty sure the bark is going to slip. But sometimes you go ahead and you just peel the bark back and you see how the bark easily slips. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about slipping bark. If the bark doesn't slip, you can't graft the trees. The other thing you need to know about trees is they're not round. Everybody thinks a tree is round. But there's always a flat spot somewhere, and so that's where you want to put the graft on the tree. It's over on this side of the tree. There's a flat spot, which uh, corresponds with this spot right here, and so that's where we're going to put the graft. Now, when you do a bigger tree, the bark is really thick, and so that can be a challenge, and so you have to pare it down. In this case, the bark is fairly thin, and so it's not a big deal. Uh, we go ahead and cut, remove the saw cuts off like this right here, just cutting it a little bitty bit. You wanna leave the bark as thick as possible. And so now we're ready for our graft stick. And this wood was not sealed on the ends and you wanna match the graft wood to the size of your tree. So if you have great big graft wood, you're gonna do big grafts. Here we have a small tree. And so we want the stick to be fairly small. And so we're gonna cut this stick off about right here. So we're going to cut this off right here, and this will be the part that we're going to use right here. So now we're at nice green wood. What we're going to do is we're going to cut down to the middle of the stick. And if you can make it with one cut, that's really, really good. Most of the time it's not possible. It needs to be perfectly straight right here. It doesn't go straight in though, it's kind of beveled. You turn it over and you make a cut on the back. 
which is your chisel cut. So now we have our stick and it's ready to be put on the tree. We go to our flat spot. We put it on the tree and you're going to cut on one side and all you have to do is cut through the bark down to the wood. You know, a lot of people think, oh, you got to cut into the wood. No, all you got to do is cut through the bark. Then you move your hand to the opposite side and not move the stick and you make the same exact cut. And so that's where the graft gets the name inlay because we're inlaying the graft between the bark and the wood. So now we've made our cuts and we pull the bark back and we're going to slip the, the graft into the slot. So the graft pushes into the slot, you push it down, and the last little bit you want to push it as tight as you can. And so now we have it on the tree, it's lined up very well on the sides, and then so we secure it to the tree. And so today we're going to be using tape, polyethylene tape. I am a person that likes to nail them. And so if the bark is fairly thick, you go ahead and nail the little stick in there. I like to do that. This one is very thin, and so we'll just use tape. I have colleagues that use duct tape. I'm not a duct tape fan. You know, I've been doing it this way for 30 plus years, and so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so I hadn't adjusted to the, to the duct tape deal. Some people use electrical tape. But I prefer this grafting tape. Go all the way around, and you want to pull it tight. And then I usually wrap it all the way back down, and then I will tie it off. And notice that I'm keeping the tape flat. You know, you don't want it to ball up and become a narrow ribbon. So you keep it wide. And if you got time, you cut those off. Now the bark, the graft has been secured to the tree. We're going to protect it from the elements. We're going to use aluminum foil. Realize you have two sides on aluminum foil. You have a shiny side, you have a dull side. Shiny side goes up, oil reflects sunlight, keeps the temperature down. And you don't want to crimp it all the way back under there because it's open there. You want to just very crimp it at the bottom. And then the last thing we do is we put our poly bag on. <clears throat> and like I said before, the poly bag holds the moisture in. You cut the corner off. You pull the bag down over the buds being careful not to knock the buds off. And then we have to tie that bag off, and so we use this same tape. We tie it off down here. We've got to seal the bag up. And so I typically go around a few times, tie it off, and then we're going to make the same tie down here. Now the key is when you make this low tie down here, <clears throat> that you only tie the bag where it's covered with aluminum foil. So when you make this tie, you don't want to be tying it down here because you have wood inside the bag that's not covered with the foil. So you have to tie it off right here where everything that's inside of the bag is covered with the aluminum foil. And so we tie this off and then on a tree like this, you need to leave about two buds. There's a bud down here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six buds on there. So we're going to take some of those buds off. We're going to take it down to about right here. <clears throat> and so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to seal the tip with glue, some kind of glue. And so you put a little drop of glue up here on the top. And that will seal it off and then you're good to go. So we want this graph to sit here now for two weeks, minimum of two weeks, maybe three weeks, because we've got to have a new union take place. So if, it, if we come back next week and it's already growing, we just will saw it off and put another one on. And so that's why it was key that the wood be totally dormant. So we wanted to sit here two, three weeks. It's going to be cold next week. That's going to slow down the healing process. 
So minimum two, three weeks, could be four weeks, and then it should be starting to grow right here. And once it starts to grow and is up here, we can cut the top tie here and then kind of pull out the foil below it. And then later on, we're probably gonna to have to brace the graft a little bit as well. So that is the Texas method inlay bark graft. And like I said a while ago, you have to have these simple materials, but you also have to have confidence. You gotta believe you can make it grow.